The Isle of Wight Animal Shelter is overrun with cats. And if something doesn't change soon, they may be forced to euthanize some. I went to the shelter today and talked with workers who say it doesn't have to be this way. This is an older cat that we have here, and we named her Lily. The situation at the Isle of Wight Animal Shelter is almost, well, catastrophic. I know we've, we've got probably about 70 plus, um, including kittens. <laughs> These tiny ones are still nursing and share space with mom, but pretty soon they'll need a cage of their own, and the shelter just doesn't have that kind of space. It's about the same. It's like this just about every year. And twice a year at that. Kitten season strikes in the fall and spring. The real problem, shelter workers say, is that owners don't spay or neuter their pets. Pet her again. Pet her under her chin. There you go. Many don't realize that kittens as young as four months can get pregnant. And even house cats can find a way out when they want to. I mean, I've had people say, well, she just shot out the door. You know, she just got away from us. Well, that's why she's ready to go find a boyfriend. <laughs> and when she comes back, you're going to have new, fam new family members. <laughs> and that brings us back to the shelter where many of those new family members end up because the owners can't take care of them. So long term, the shelter's plea. Spay and neuter. As for the short term, if you have the space in your home and heart. Aren't they awesome? Come to the shelter to foster or adopt. And to save time, you can fill out an adoption application right online and bring it with you to the shelter. They are open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4 and 1 to 4 on Sunday. You'll also find them this weekend at the Isle of Wight Fair.